Hi all and uh, welcome back to the shed. Um, today we're going to go over some different surge, uh, well not different, I'll show you a couple uh, surge protectors I'm not going to use in this particular video, but today we're going to install the Midnight Solar um, CSPD 300 DC and you know they, they claim that it is the, um, the standard so to speak. So and I believe it. Midnight Solar's got some really good stuff. Um, some of their stuff, I was, you know, on their smaller do-it-yourself line, I was a little bit disappointed. Their big stuff, though, um, it's solid. This lasts a long time. It's very bulletproof. Um, so let's take a quick look here at the uh, Midnight Solar setup. So basically, we've got this SPD. Looks like a, a light on top of an old police car or something, but this is the SPD um, 300. Let's take a closer look at that. Kind of hard to see for you guys, but uh, it is the SPD MN SPD 300 DC, and we're going to use it to protect the uh, circuitry and our combiner and everything from the panels that are outside. Now, as you can see, I've got the midnight controller combiner box. I've already loosened up the lid so it pops off pretty easy. And then um, on the inside, you can just pop off the little cover, um, pretty slick with their moon and all that. And then I've got a couple of uh, DC breakers in there. Um, these are PV rated, um, 20 amps a pop. This is the M and EPV uh, breaker. They are, Polarized, I believe. Yes, they are polarized. Kind of hard to see in there right now, but we've got a uh, positive on the bottom down there and then negative up on top. So they will, in fact, uh, do the job if there is some sort of uh, back surge from the inverter and whatnot. But I don't think that's going to happen. It's pretty solid stuff, even though this one's a SRNE. I think SRNE makes a pretty good product. Now, so essentially, let's take a look here. We've got, um, you know, a couple lines in from my PV panel. Everything from this conduit here is coming in from my PV panels. We've got two strings out there. Um, I switched over with the transition box um, back at the panels and, you know, a little isolator switch and all that. Um, and then I've got uh, a couple neutrals and a couple, uh, one ground, one ground off of the PV. And it comes in and it connects right to this ground bus bar. Then you can see back in there, there's another ground, and it runs back over to here. Uh, this is one from the panel. This one goes over to uh, uh, the actual controller and the circuit breaker panel over here, which is where I have my neutral, my earth ground, and my neutral to ground bond. So everything runs back to the same place. It's pretty fancy, actually. Um, some people argue on that, saying, you know, you got to have like... Uh, saying that you got to have like you know two separate ground rods or this that i don't you know what one ground rod's fine i i swear to god it is um we'll be okay all right so and then you can see um with these circuit breakers um they are the uh mne -E, uh mne pv so they're pv panel rated um polarized 20 amperes they're connected by a bus bar at the top, and that's what goes from you know my two uh, series, uh, two strings in series over to, um, it combines them, so that way we're going parallel. And then we're running our hot wire all the way down in, and again, over this circuit breaker panel over here. We're overdoing it on circuit breakers, but heck, just safety is safety, right? So basically, what we're up to tonight is we're gonna take this, um, uh, surge protector here from Midnight Solar, and it's going to mount right on the side of the ye old panel here and pop on through and connect in with the bus bars and whatnot. So I think it's going to be pretty cool. Now, one of the things I'm going to have to do actually is I'm going to have to dig in there. You see, I've got an empty hole here, and I've got another one of these. I'm going to have to get it attached and get it put in there and try to figure out a way to get some more light in there for you guys so we can make this video a little bit better get into some lightning now here where i live in southern oregon we get lightning but it's it's not like you know in town a lot i mean it happens but i think the chances are low it's not like florida or you know up through the bible belt and stuff like that um where there is a lot of hurricanes and tornadoes yada 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 so installations instruction verify system voltage we've got that done already i know which one's which um 
identify the proper location. That's going to be right there, actually, on the side of the uh, combiner panel. And then we're going to connect, uh, install the green wire, the ground to the ground bus bar. Okay. Connect phase conductors. The phase wires are black and red in color. Orientation is not critical to the operation. All right. So red wire to the PV positive and black wire to the PV negative or battery minus. Um, we're doing PV negative today. So black is negative, red is positive. Okay. PV combiners get installed as shown in figure one. Okay, apply voltage to the SPD. Okay. I wonder if a 9 volt battery is spark it up. Huh, let's take a look here. Take a look at that. We got a little battery right there. You may as well try it and see what happens. The LED is supposed to come on in the uh, surge protector here. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if the LED light's going to come on here. Um, the wire's a little on the stiff side, I like it. Heavy duty. Pop that right back there. Right now. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got some LED action. Pull over, pull over, boop, boop. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so, looks, I mean, they say it's working when the LEDs are on. That's about all I know. Um, personally, I don't know of a way to test these things without fucking a whole bunch of voltage. And right now, I'm not willing to figure that out. So, maybe in another setting, um, you know, a little bit more safety stuff going on, blah, blah, blah. We'll check that out, but... Right now, let's start getting this sucker into place, okay? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, you can see up on this bus bar here, um, I'm gonna need an additional little lug to put on there. I just happen to have one. And we're gonna go ahead and get that installed so that that way um, we can connect the positive or the red of the surge protector. And that's going to be pretty straightforward. These are a DIN rail style breaker, which means you're going to pop out of there pretty easily. A um, couple little tabs here on the bottom. I remember, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm doing this at nighttime. So we got no power from the panels. Okay. There we go, pull that out just like that. And what we'll do, go ahead and take this screw out here. Go ahead and fish that on through. That's actually got like a little how you doing on there. Whoops, I just lost, there we go. Mm-hmm. I actually don't like that one, although it is a proper side. It's got like this little nub out right there. I don't particularly care for that, so let's see what else I got. Okay, so I ended up, I didn't have another lug without that little burr on the bottom of it. Um, so I went ahead and just kind of shaved that one off with the grinder, quick and easy. And we'll go ahead and mount it to this bus bar right here. There we go, looking good. Okay, so why that's out, I may as well pop this little thing off right here, my little knockout here. There it is.
Okay, there's that. Now then, that's going to be a lot of extra wire. We may clip some of this wire up just to clean it up, but heck, I'm not too worried about it right now. Let's just kind of get this in there. And forgot to put the rubber gasket on, so that's kind of interesting. We got to figure out what some of these little parts are. I know what the rubber gasket's for here. I know what the uh, conduit lock nut's for. We got some uh, looks like white shrink tube that they included. You have to read the instructions to figure that one out. Let's pull this one back out. So what we'll do is we're going to hook up the ground first, and since this is the most available spot, loosen that up. We're going to slide that right on in there. So green goes to ground. I think that's pretty straightforward. Check these, good. Good. Okay, we'll take our black. We're gonna run it right on over to that one here. So according to midnight, um, the black wire is gonna go to our line over here. That's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get in there and loosen that up. There's no insulation in between the terminal and the lug. That's a big no-no. Clamping her down real good. And then our red wire is going to come right up into here. Just like a so. Again, making sure that there's no insulation in between the terminal and the lug. The lug screw, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up in here. And we've got our red wire hooked up to the battery plus and our uh, black wire hooked to the battery minus we've got this string through we've got the rubber washer over here on the uh, outside because that's where it belongs um, that's for outside use but uh, actually it's for outside use but you wouldn't mount it on the side of the panel you'd mount this on the bottom of the combiner panel Back into shape there. There's that.
Okay, folks, so there you have it. Tomorrow, when everything kicks on, we will go ahead and, um, tomorrow, when everything kicks on, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if the lights are on, see if everything's working. Really, it's pretty simple. You just got to wrestle with the wires and stuff. Okay, there's like the midnight special. That's what we'll call it. That's pretty cool with the blue LEDs coming on. Pretty awesome. Says it's working. That's all I know. Okay, so it's nighttime again, and um, the Midnight Solar MN SPD 300 is in place. Um, I consider. The Midnight Solar to be kind of the industry standard on stuff like this and all their stuff that's made for their bigger um, units and inverters and stuff like that is pretty, like I said before, pretty bulletproof and I trust it a lot, um, including their combiner panels. Um, for some of the smaller stuff, you can do stuff different and some of the smaller stuff they make, I think, you know, it is what it is. Um, nothing bad to say about it, but definitely could be a little bit better quality at times um so that's that type of a uh, um surge protector device and i'll put a link in my video to one of midnight solar's uh, videos with ryan explaining this one a lot better and why they consider it to be a better surge protector um there's other ones that you can get um that are cheaper like this um tom zen or whatever it is uh i wonder if i can zoom in on that a little bit better so it, it's, you know, a different type of surge protector. Um, these actually come out so you can replace them over time. Um, there we go. Um, you can replace them over time because um, they do wear out. And there's really nothing more in these but a little bit of circuitry and a big... Um, Ver resistor, something I don't know, I don't know how to say it exactly, but you know, like a um, variable resistor, a pretty good size one. Um, and there's some videos out there on that where people disassemble them, but I don't feel like disassembling this right now. Um, this, these here, apparently, they're going to clamp the voltage at around 500 volts DC, and the midnight will clamp like right around 750 volts. Um, I these two that I have from China here, the uh, Thomson and the um, Yuru, Yuru, I guess it's called, they are CE rated, but they're not UL rated. Um, I do have some UL rated ones coming to have more in stock that are of this principle. They'll be for sale on my website. Um, and also, I will have some surge protectors um, ready made for sale. So... Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, you guys. I think it's kind of a choice of preference and how much you want to spend. Some of these are definitely a lot cheaper, but I consider the Midnight Solar to be industry standard. Definitely going to cost you a little bit more, but definitely the way I would go for most of my stuff. Um, but we're going to try some different stuff over here. Where I live, we get lightning, but it's not like a lot right in town. On occasion, it happens, but... You know, and it's not the lightning I'm concerned of. It's the static energy from being in proximity. If any of us get hit by lightning, boy, this place is going off right now. Um, if any of us get hit by lightning or our systems do, it's just going to fry them. That's all there is to it. <laughs> but the static energy from being close to a lightning strike will hopefully be arrested by these surge protectors, okay? Um, I highly recommend it for folks that live up and down like the Bible Belt um, in the Midwest where there's a lot of tornadoes out, you know, like... Um, the Gulf of Mexico, Florida, places like that where hurricanes are big. And there's just a lot more activity from weather inversion and stuff like that. Um, I, I recommend it. Why not? It's a cheap way to protect your investment. That's all I got to say. So anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. And catch you later. And I tell you what, stuff like this, really, is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs>